next chord I'm going to do, all right, will be a uh, A major seven with a flat five, all right. But I'm going to use the F for the bass, and I'm going to use a regular F sharp chord in my right hand. All right. All right. Now I'm going to um, use a B, a D, excuse me, a D major seven with a flat five. And I'm going to go back to that same chord I did before, the first one, A flat, B flat, E flat, with my bass on B flat. All right. Now, I'll do that sequence all over again for you, all right? Six, two, and five. Okay. Uh, six, two, five. And you're back to your one again. Now let me show you something. What I did do six, two, five. All right. Six, six, two. My middle finger is my pivot. No matter what key you're in. Middle finger be your pivot. All right. Now, okay. Then the back. The same chord we started off with. Now I will do that sequence all over again. I'll do it slow for you. Okay. Remember, C in the bass, E, major 7 flat 5, um, A flat, B flat, E flat. E flat, A flat, A, um, C sharp or D flat with a F sharp uh, um, chord. sharp A flat, uh, D flat, with a uh, A flat, B flat, E flat. Now well, let's say if you're kind of challenged and you do it backwards, all right, let's say because the first chord in this sequence would be the, uh, would be the, this chord. Now what if, let's say if you did the F sharp instead, it really wouldn't matter. matter because they're all in the they're all in the uh, in the chords of E flat okay so if you got it backwards that's all right as long as it's left hand straight okay if you did this first fine that's all you're doing but if you did this it's, it's okay all right go through that whole thing right from the beginning something uh what I call these I call these like uh, the little one finger um, uh, kind of a lead I do all right um, and you can do this you can get away with this uh, after you do your diminished all right like you're going back to the five or the one all right instead of hitting this what I'm gonna do is go to the diminished I'm going to hit the uh, B major 7 flat 5th, but I'm going to use in my uh, upper manual the E flat uh, note, all right? Okay. 
Now, this is going to be a series of pivot chords. My thumb is not going to move for two of the chords. All right, so I'm going to, I'm playing the F sharp, B flat, B, E flat, with the E flat on top manual and the E flat in the bass. And uh, my bad, I'm going to play the A flat, A flat in the foot, my bad. That's A flat in the foot, all right? Now my thumb's not going to leave on my left hand. I'm going to do the E flat, major seven, flat five, but with my uh, upper manual, I'm going to play the F sharp chord with the F sharp in the bass. Now, I'm going to pivot the middle finger again, and I'm going to play the A major 7 with the flat 5, but I'm going to play the A flat in the uh, right hand with my foot on F. Alright, now I'm going to play a B flat in the right hand. I'll play a D major 7 in the, in the, uh, in the left hand. Remember that chord? D, F sharp, A flat, uh, C sharp. And I'll play a B flat in the foot. All right, so all I'm doing in the uh, right hand is. Get off that B flat, all right? What I'm going to use is um, it be the C sharp major seven, all right? It's not a flat fifth; it's actually a C sharp major seven with a uh, E flat in the bass. But your fingering would be. Um, Remember, your bass foot will be E flat, all right? You're gonna hit the F, and you're gonna play a C major seven in your right hand. A flat, C, C sharp, or D flat, and uh, F, with the F in the... Uh, your next chord, your bass foot will be on A flat, okay? Um, and you're, you're, uh, you're gonna play the D flat, E flat, and when you hit the E, you can hit the other chord with the A flat in the bass. The left hand would be F sharp, B, C, and E. Okay. All right, so I'll play that again. 